everyone, it's me, Liam, from How Affected, guitarist and singer, and you're watching Metal and DNA. So, Metal DNA wanted me to talk about a song that changed the metal. So, I think I go with today, Zombie Ritual, by Death. Why? It's because, first off, the tone. The tone on this song is hypnotising. As soon as as soon as it just plays, it's perfection straight away. It just draws you in, getting ready for something to like pounce at you. And that's what it exactly does. As soon as the song kicks in, it's just all fucking out hell. And it just and the room will just fucking lit up, light up. And uh, I kind of, it's kind of shit because obviously I'm in 23 and I can't have seen it happen. But I've heard the old generation talk about it a lot. And I've seen videos. And it's amazing. It's, it just looks sick. I am um, just the way it goes through until the solo and then after the way it ends. The way Chuck's voice just flows with it. It's just like poetry in the way. The lyrics are they sang and how they are sang. It's just perfect, everything about it, there's not one bad thing about it. Maybe some of you might disagree with me, but in my eyes, that song is perfect the way it is. Going on to the lyrics, I, when I was 16, I did not really listen to much like diversity on metal. It was just Metallica, Mary Best Slayer, until I proper reached out. And Death came up, and I think I was listening to... I think it was Morbid Angel, and then it came up on the side, and I was listening to it straight away, hypnotized. Into straight away the lyric, and the, with the lyrics, obviously, it was it was something I've not really heard before, and I was like buzzing off my tits basically because I was like, this is sick, this is evil, this is what metal should be. And then I obviously was reading up, and you know. The goblet to go and everything. I just love that. I think the goblet. I, I do want to. Actually, I do want like a goblet just full of blood to be fair. It'd be quite sick. Okay, but yes. So I got lyrics here. So it's like stuff like drifting from the living, joining with the dead, zombie dwelling and maggots now infest your head. That is fucking sick and evil. And like some people say, and myself, it's poetry in a way. Death metal poetry, <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just sick. Just hearing that for the first time, not heat like you know when you've just gone from Metallica just singing about what they do, and then hearing this, out it's just out of this world for me. Drums and bass just blasting through, giving that like good back end of it and everything. It was sick. Um, then like the artwork itself as well for Scream Bloody Gore, it was just just a dude on his throwing it like you know, skeletons. With the goblet as well. Hey, on his um, throne, I think it was. It was it was a really sick one. I actually got it tattooed on me, actually. No, he's not, so he's actually holding it. So I actually got a Scream Bloody Gore album art tattooed on me. Not sure if you can see it. Oh, yeah, but yeah, so obviously, as you can see, it was a big, big change on me as well and how we do it in our band and that's how I do it uh, but yeah just so this is me talking about death and zombie ritual on how it changed metal that's what I think changed metal for the best the solo was amazing vocals was amazing Chuck is just amazing oh, rest in peace which could have saw you everything about this track is perfection there's nothing else to be said uh, a little plug in for myself. Uh, if you like black and thrash metal, I uh, follow us. We are named Halfected. Follow us on Instagram, our YouTube channel. Go check out our merch. It helps us a lot, especially in this shit time. This has been me, and you've been watching Metal DNA.